Hi there, welcome to IR Models. In today's video, I'll be painting this 170 second scale FA18C Hornet from Academy, which I built up in a previous video. Let's take a look. Before painting, I like to prime my models with this Vallejo Surface Primer uh, Grey, which helps paint stick to the bare plastic and creates a smooth finish with regular acrylics. It can be thinned down with water, which really helps uh, as I don't have to buy a dedicated thinner. And I just spray this through the airbrush, thin to about 70% primer to maybe 30% water. But the primer is already thinned as it is, Vallejo is pretty good like that, so you should be fine. Small parts were attached to popsicle sticks for ease of painting, just means that I can batch paint them with the airbrush. I applied a quick black pre-shade with cheap acrylic paint. This helps accentuate the panel lines and details over the base coat. The underside was also pre-shaded with black, however in a more rough manner as not much of it is going to be seen in the end and it's more just to add variation in the paint. The two main colours I'll be using to paint this FA18 is Vallejo White Grey and Dark Sea Grey uh, acrylic paints. These can be thinned with water and sprayed through the airbrush. White grey was used by itself to paint in the air brake bay. Uh, this was also used on the wheel well bays. Dark sea grey mixed with a little bit of white grey was then sprayed along the top of the fuselage. This was kept in thin layers in order to show some of the pre-shade underneath. Once these base coats were down, I sprayed the whole model with a Vallejo satin varnish uh, to seal in the paint and get it ready for decals and other small detail painting. Small details were picked out with acrylic paints and a thin brush, most of the time with grey tones, especially around the cockpit area. Vallejo model air chrome acrylic paint was then used to paint the air intakes on the engines.
This chrome paint was then mixed with a little bit of dark sea grey to outline these small details around those intakes. Once that was done, I moved on to painting the missiles, starting with the AIM-9 owl sidewinders. The heads of the missiles had to be painted in a dark grey, while the AIM-7 sparrows had to be painted with a lighter grey colour, while the head had to stay white. I also painted the GBU Mark 12 laser guided bombs with sort of a khaki green colour, though I did darken it a bit later on. These small wheel bay covers were painted on the sprue as I don't want to get them mixed up during the assembly process at the end. The arrestor hook was then painted in black and white. The camouflage scheme called for the tails of the Hornet to be painted in a light blue acrylic paint. I tried keeping this in thin layers to keep some of the pre-shade, however the decals will cover most of it, but I still did it anyway. My masking wasn't the greatest here and there was a little bit of overspray, however oils in the next weathering video will help solve this. A fine brush was used to paint the red lines on the wheel bay doors. I absolutely love this detail, it creates so much contrast with the rest of the jet. I decided to glue the air intakes now as it's just another thing off the workbench and onto the model completed. The heads up display was then painted very delicately with a fine brush. Now for the decals. For this, I'll be using Tamiya's MarkFit decal solution which softens the decals and helps them conform to all the panel lines and details on the model. It has a nice nifty brush applicator which really helps out when applying them. The decals were just great, I mean, what do you expect from Cartograph? However, there's about a million of them, and I didn't end up using all, there's just too many. These larger eagle decals that went onto the tails were a little bit of a mission, however, with a few more coats of MarkFit, they also conformed pretty well. Once they were put on, I sealed all the decals in with one more layer of satin varnish, and that completed the painting process. So here it is, the finished 172nd scale FA18C Hornet from Academy, all painted up and decals applied. I think the paint job looks really nice on this FA18. Uh, the camo screen is really, really unique and I quite like the Eagle decals, even if they're a little bit hard to put on. The pre-shade turned out okay, I think I'm going to have to alter it a bit with some oil paints in the next video. The next video will involve weathering, uh, pin washes, oil paints, a bit of dust on the wheels and maybe some grime. These FA18s get really dirty on the carriers out in the ocean, so stick around for that video. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. That really helps the channel grow and click subscribe to see the next part in the series alongside other build videos.